Hey, what's up? This is Spider Primal. I'm back again with another Transformers video review. All right, this is my last Power Core Combiner set that I have so far. It is Stakeout with the Protectobots. And as you can see, it's uh from the it's from the same wave as Crankcase and the Destrons. Um, and as you can see, it it also uses the uh, repaint system. Um, this is a repaint of Smolder, who was a Decepticon fire truck ambulance thing. Um, and the these two appendages, this arm and leg, are from uh, Bomb Shock and the Combaticons, just repainted. And then these two are also from the Aerial Bots, just like what um, Crankcase had. He had two from the Dest or Combaticons and two from the Aerial Bots. But these are the other two limbs that he didn't have. Um, so if you have the Protectobots and the Destrons, you have a full set of Combaticon limbs and Aerial Bot limbs. And then just two repainted central figures. Um, but this is the the half track um, leg from Bruticus that I like to call him. I like to call him Bruticus instead of Bomb Shock. Um, and then this is the the brawl tank that is now green instead of silver or like flat gray. Um, and since these are the Protectobots, I guess you could call this one uh, Blades. Um, the original helicopter was yellow, um, from what I remember. Uh, it forms an arm. And then we have a Starscream-esque jet mode painted in the Blue Angels paint scheme colors, the blue and the yellow. Um, and it forms a leg. Um, don't know who on the Protectobots it would be. Um, they didn't have a jet. I know those two wouldn't be on the Protectobots because they're military vehicles. And then, I guess if you were going to go by G1, this would be uh, First Aid instead of Hot Zone. Because Hot Zone was a blue fire truck, not a white ambulance. So this would be First Aid. We have First Aid and Blades out of the original Protectobots. Um, but... Uh, stake out, I guess we'll have to do. Transform him into his basic robot mode. You want to... I haven't done his basic robot mode in so long. Um, we're going to split up here. I remember now. We're going to pull the arm and fold this panel at the same time. And then the legs, you want to flip up the front of the truck, move the connector pieces out to the side, and I'll pull the truck, the rest of the truck halves all the way down. And then flip these black pieces up behind the siren bar for his feet, and then split the legs. And just adjust accordingly. And there is Stakeout in basic robot mode. Um, he has very big shoulders. I'm not sure if I like the very big shoulders all that much. Um, but they come into play later on in the combined form, so they kind of have to be there. Um, I like the legs. I kind of wish these weren't as obtrusive as they are. Um, and I'm not all too crazy on the teal slash allspark bluish color of his limbs and head. Um, although they do blend in with the power core... Um, connector pieces. So, 
I don't know if that's a plus or they just ran out of different colors. Um, and the head sculpt is eh. It looks better on Smolder when it's black. Um, but the combined head looks a little bit better in this version, I think. Um, but I haven't seen Smolder combined in a long time. So I don't remember what his combined head color was. I think it might have been black because his two heads are the same color, but still, I don't really remember. Um, so combining him, or turning him into his combined torso mode, you want to flip these around, and there's a hole in here and a tab right on his shoulder. Just want to peg that in, and then come back here with the arm. There's a tab and a hole. And tab that in. And then flip out the connector pieces. So it looks like that. And then with the legs, you want to fold the feet back up and put the siren back in. Um, I'm going to come this way with the legs. Fold it up. There's a tab on the back of the leg here and it's supposed to go into the the swivel slot that's on the leg. And you just want to go in and then pull it till it goes to the very edge and then bring the connector port down. And I think it's very ingenious using the the molded plastic that's supposed to be on the leg anyways in order for the joint to work using that as a connector piece I think that's very good that's very smart um, on their part and then for the combined mode head you just pull out his chest and flip his head back and there is torso mode um, very nice head sculpt. Looks a lot like a cross between a firefighter, because it's got the little mask piece, and um, kind of Optimus Prime Ultra Magna-ish, or Ultra Magnus-ish, excuse me. Um, I guess it's just because it's blue and white right now. It looks like Ultra Magnus to me. Um, but, so yeah. And then for the limbs, now this is what I was talking about in my Bomb Shock review. This half track doesn't like to stay as a limb. Although right now it's wanting to do its job perfectly fine, you little dirtbag. Um, the jet is very finicky to get in. What you want to do to start it out is push on the tail fins to collapse the wings. Oops. And then the leg plugs in behind the nose cone. So just hold the wings and then plug it in. Ah, see, there we go. Okay, look. The connector piece is staying straight up while the limb is sticking out at an angle. Now, either the spring is too strong or this connector piece really sucks. I don't know. I've turned it I've turned it so that each face of the square was facing the front and it does the same thing every single direction, so I don't know what the problem is. Bomb shock doesn't seem to do it. I mean, I've seen it do it once just because I jiggled with it, but normally it doesn't do it. So I don't know what's wrong with my defensor here. Take the tank Plug it in here, take the helicopter, plug it in in the front, sorry about my arm, and there you go. Um, not one of my favorites. It's, out of the, f the five components, it's about four-fifths looking really good. One, two, three, four. The helicopter arm is really out of place for me. 
just because this really big stocky arm, really big stocky legs, really big stocky body, really tiny skinny arm, it doesn't fit at all. Um, I don't remember much about the Aerial Bots video that I watched. Um, I it doesn't look like it would fit in with the the other airplane arm, but um, well, why don't we look at the other airplane arm with crankcase? Um, he's very uh, short. And it's not just the oh, bump that leg again. Come on, stop it. He's about, just because the head's down a little bit and then these shoulders are higher, they're the same plane. But going from head to head, crankcase is about half a head taller. Almost. Um, it's hard to capture here. Here, let's turn it this way. Mm, that doesn't really help, but you can see you can see with his head it sticks about into his chest. So going from head to head, um, crankcase is bigger, but just because of the overall, my shoulders at the are at the same height yours are. They're the same. Dar darn it. At the littlest touch, too. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it be for right now. And then just for spits and giggles, here's Bomb Shock. Kind of hidden behind him. Hold on. There. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with his half-track leg, but his is just, I don't know. I i haven't switched them yet to see if it does the same thing, but um, I know that's the point of these, is you're supposed to be able to swap the arms and make new co combinations, but I'm one of those weird people who be, who are like, this is the set. This is how it's supposed to be. You don't put that on him. You don't put that on him. Blah, blah, blah. Um... So I have actually not really put these guys to their full potential. I haven't put random arms on random people. Um, so, I don't know. But, for, out of the three that I have, I think, yeah, I, I reviewed them in, like, highest to lowest. Bomb Shock would be number one, Crankcase would be number two, and then Stakeout is number three. Just I have him just because he's an Autobot team, and I don't have any other Autobot power core combiners yet. I want to get the Rallybots and the Destructicon sets because I know my Walmart up here still has them, uh, which is a freaking miracle. Um, but until then, I'm Spider Prime One. I'm going back to the Dark of the Moon because I have a bunch more. And I'm signing off.